What's up guys, CP Modder here, back with another video. Now recently we've been checking out some budget storage drives and even getting some refurb ones off of the internet and doing some data recovery and I absolutely love to see what those drives were being used for in their previous lives. And up until recently, sure I've had my more professional set of tools but I've always been sort of giving it a go with what the average person might be able to get straight off the internet and see what they can actually recover with it. And recently Wondershare has actually popped up and and recently they've also too reached out and um, I was actually interested to see what their recovery software could actually do for paying absolutely nothing and today we're going to go ahead and see what exactly you can do with data recovery from Wondershare and their recover it free software and actually taking a look at least their product page anyway it does make a lot of bold claims and it works with both Mac and PC which is definitely a good thing whether you're wanting to recover your music files from your Mac or your content creation from your PC really they've definitely got you covered no matter what system you're actually using so I managed to get in touch with them and well go ahead and make a video right here so let's go ahead and get into some sort of testing and also to see what their claims are versus what the real world can actually go ahead and deliver so after installing which I do have to say was really simple like click and go it was installed uh, it was opened up and the UI was actually really nice I've used a number of these data recovery softwares and a lot of the time you do have to know a little bit of what's going on with data recovery to actually figure out how to use the damn thing. Whereas this guy was really easy. It opens up with a bunch of scenarios which you can go ahead and recover your data from. So you can do things from external drive recoveries to simple things like, oh, I've emptied my recycle bin and I just need to get my files back. I do have to say, taking a look at this program from the standpoint of someone who doesn't have a degree in IT, definitely this is a really easy software to get your head around and actually use. I like the use of their big pictures and I like the use of the different scenarios as again if you're not really into computers but need that important file back this can be an absolute lifesaver. So for today I went ahead and set up some different scenarios to test out this software and see what it can actually do. So today I grabbed a photo off of my server which is this cool multi-exposure motorbike jumping thing that I took a photo of a couple months back and I went ahead and loaded it up on an external drive. I plugged that drive in, deleted it and then emptied the recycle bin and boom it is gone usually at this point it's gg game over you've just lost the file for a lot of people out there but we do have this software right here so we're going to go ahead and load it up and we're going to select our external drive and almost instantly as soon as i click that scan button it was ready to go and it recovered our photo just about straight away and as the photo is less than 100 megabytes boom we can pull it back absolutely no problems as the free software allows you to pull back up to 100 megabytes so i I think this is actually really good as it allows you to go ahead and pull things like important word documents back the occasional photo or something like that that's a little bit smaller that can be absolutely crucial I don't know how many times people have come to me with I've accidentally deleted for example like a word document with tax information in there that I really do need this kind of software is absolutely powerful but okay okay so that was a pretty easy thing I mean we deleted the file on that computer it was done seconds ago let's face it it's most likely not the hardest thing to cover it but what if we went ahead and deleted something from over a year ago? What if we then used that drive for about a year? What kind of results could we expect? As this is sort of happening more and more where people would format a drive or just delete something, not realize they've deleted something and then come back the next year or next two years and go, oh my gosh, I've accidentally deleted it. Well, I did exactly that. So I went over to my hard drive shelf, picked up an old WD green drive that I know for a fact that I've got old files on there from two, three, four years ago on there, plugged it into the system, ran another scan and boom, I was able to find files back from 2017 and even earlier, which was really nice to see. See, and all the ones that were less than 100 megs, I could easily recover them, which again, really comes back down to the fact if you've accidentally deleted something, well, it will easily enough pull it back. But why is this possible, you might be thinking? How on earth have we just deleted something and now it's magically back there? Well, actually, when you delete something on a computer, most drives and computers don't actually zero out all the sectors or all the parts, meaning that the ones and zeros that make up computer data are actually all still there. In most cases, everything that is needed but the actual file that's used to access that data is exactly right there, whether it be magnetic hard drives, so your typical hard drives, or SSD flash, 
everything is generally still there and only gets overwritten either when you issue a special command or if you go ahead and put new data over the top. So we'll use an SSD for instance. So imagine an SSD has all these little blocks of ones and zeros on them to make up your data. When you want to access that data, there's actually a special file in that SSD and this is the same for most storage out there that will actually tell the operating system whatever's requesting that information where to actually look on that hard drive or SSD because let's face it if a computer has to go through every single file on it every time it wants to do something it's not going to be very fast at all. So we have special little files on our computers that will store where everything is actually located. And basically when you delete something, generally speaking, you're just going ahead and removing that little entry, sort of like a map. So essentially you're just removing that location from the map. Now, obviously, yes, there's a lot more detail you can go into. And yes, an entire another video needs to be done to actually explain that. But just on a sort of simple level, essentially when you delete something off a computer, you're not really deleting that data. You're just deleting the entry so that the computer doesn't know where that data is. How this software works is it just reads the data on that drive. Sure, it takes a while to scan, but it can actually just read the data without needing to worry about knowing where that information is. So that is where the power of these programs really do come in because it just skips that little essential map that the computer does have. So, okay then, let's up the stakes a little bit. How about I format a drive that has some important information on there? Absolutely no worries. So I went ahead and plugged in a drive into my other computer, went ahead and formatted it with just a standard Windows format that you do on just about any computer out there, plugged it into my test system, which I pointed is behind me, but I just realized isn't actually behind me. But we went ahead, plugged it into the system and boom, I was able to recover all those files back and absolutely no problems. If I had the full version, I could easily go ahead and pull every single thing back. Absolutely no problems. Though I will want to note, if you do format the drive and then fill up the drive, you won't be able to recover everything because as we did mention, those ones and zeros will be overwritten with brand new data. So for example, if you had an old install of Windows and then you've installed Windows again and you filled up that drive, whatever's on the old section may not actually be recoverable anymore because again, it has been overwritten. But I do have to say, it was easy enough to recover a formatted drive. But at this point, nothing really that amazing has gone ahead and actually happened. I mean, sure, we got some files back. Sure, we are able to recover a uh, formatted drive, but honestly, the stakes haven't really been that high for me. Right now, I'm sitting here recording my footage to an SD card in my camera right now, and uh, everything's going pretty well. I mean, we're just recording a video right now, and uh, I do have to say this is a pretty important file because if I don't have this file, then this video won't actually get made. So right after this video, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually format the card straight inside of the camera. I'm not gonna take the SD card out. I'm just gonna keep it in the card as soon as I push uh, stop recording, hit that format button, which generally speaking, deletes everything. And usually when you're on set and you delete an SD card, the director's gonna get pretty mad at you. And this means the entire shot that we have here in the studio is gonna be deleted and not able to go on ahead and be used. So I've gone ahead and deleted it at this point and spoiler alert, if you're managing to watch the video right now, that means uh, I actually got the footage back. But once I've gone ahead and deleted it, usually at this point, you're kind of in trouble with the director. But today we're gonna go ahead and plug it into our recovery system and go ahead and try and recover this piece of video. So I plugged it in and boom, instantly, there is our video right here on the SD card straight out of my Panasonic GH5. Now, you may notice the file is a little bit bigger bigger than just 100 megabytes. So I reached out to the team to go ahead and borrow a uh, license key to get the full version to see whether we could actually pull it back. I went ahead and was able to borrow a key and boom, I was able to recover the software with again, the full version of the software. And as you can see here by watching this video, there's been no artifacts or no negative results to actually recovering the footage. The footage was still 4K 10-bit 422 files straight out of my camera. There was no compression artifacts. There was no weird sort of uh, corruption of anything, basically the footage as you see right here and also to looking at the raw files on my computer are exactly identical as if they just came straight out of my camera. So especially if you're working with media like photos and videos, the last thing you want to do is recover stuff and then find out that recovery actually compressed everything and turned the quality into absolute mush. The same raw files out of the camera work exactly the same way as if they were recovered or they weren't recovered, which is something I do really like here. Now at this point, the software sounds really really good and actually data recovery in general sounds really good. If I delete something, I can just get it back, right? Well, 
yes and also to no. What we're doing here today is immediately recovering our data. As soon as we delete something, we recover it. Or if we've deleted something a while ago and we haven't really done too much to the drive, we also to recover it. Now let's say you go ahead and do exactly what I did. Take a whole bunch of video and then format your drive. For me, I was able to recover that data because as soon as I formatted it, I went ahead and actually recovered the data. But if you have, say, a 64 gigabyte SD card, and if I was to fill 60 gigabytes of that, then format it and then fill another 60 gigs of it, we're not going to be able to recover much, if anything, at all, because the first 60 gigabytes would be overwritten by the second 60 gigabytes. And that's generally how Flash works. What it will do is it will forget in that little map, as we talked about earlier, it'll forget where that data is, but the ones and zeros will be overwritten by whatever is new on the drive. So if you're looking for some extra storage hack on your system by just recovering the data, that's not exactly going to work. And that's not how these softwares actually work. All the ones and zeros are still there, means you can recover it. But if those ones and zeros have been overwritten, there's not much that we can actually do to recover this piece of data. So definitely there's some really good pros, but don't get me wrong, there are definitely limitations when it comes to data recovery in general. But all in all, it does exactly do what it says on the website, which I can't really complain too much. I guess if I had to have my complaints with this piece of software, the only thing I would complain about is I wish it would allow me to preview more file types and larger video files. Don't get me wrong, I understand why you can't exactly uh, preview everything because if you've got like a big file that you want to preview, you may not purchase it. So I do understand from a business standpoint, but from an end user, I guess my only real complaints with this is I really wish I could preview more files and bigger files and more file types. But all in all though, um, I do have to say the overall experience was so easy to use and also to a very positive one. If you're careful with your data, you can get it back almost instantly. And I also do like a number of ways that the software works from having different views. You can view the different file types or you can view it by like a, a tree hierarchy kind of thing. So there's a lot of features and heck, even searching was another feature that I really do like. If you've got a file on your system that you know what the name is, but you don't know where it's stored, I love the fact you can just search it. That is absolutely helpful. And I guess if you then need to go ahead and actually purchase the full version, maybe you've got a bigger file you want to go ahead and recover. It also too doesn't cost you an arm and a leg and you don't need to be a trained IT guy to actually recover any files out there because the UI is absolutely simple. Whether you want to recover photos from your video camera or you want to go ahead and recover those important files from that external drive that you accidentally deleted, really when it comes to data loss, there's not much of a loss here because you can get back a lot of different things. But do let me know down in that comment section, what is your data loss horror stories? I do have to say, I've definitely got quite a few, but do let me know yours down in that comment section. If you're interested in grabbing this software, I've left links down in that description box. Thanks all for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.